In this video, we're getting up close and personal with the RGB function of the GC Ultimate. Let's dive in. So we will click connect in the app, select the device, select connect once more. Then we're gonna go over to the RGB. <clears throat> we have a few different options. First is brightness, which is pretty straightforward. It's just the brightness of the LEDs. I'm gonna reduce this so it's a little bit easier to see on the camera. We have animation time, which is related to some of these other modes. Under modes, we have user, which just applies the colors down here to the different aspects that are labeled. We have rainbow, which simply cycles through the colors of the rainbow. And here's where you can see that animation time. So if you want a nice slow fade between all the colors, this is how you could achieve that. And this is in milliseconds. So 1000 millisecond is equal to one second. You can make this rather fast if we would like, but I prefer something slower, about two second fade time. We have this great reaction mode. So everything's off, but when you hit a button, it illuminates the button. And with the stick, when it hits a threshold, it will light up the stick. We have fairy mode, which will apply these colors randomly. And you can see the labels are changed to reflect that it's no longer being applied to just one button, but it's being applied randomly across the whole controller. And you can get some really nice effects. For example, if I were to change one of these to a black color, the LEDs sometimes will turn off or dim, or you can create some really cool effects uh, using fairy mode. And I'm going to change it back to react. That's my personal favorite, and I'm going to go ahead and Set this to a white. And that's how I'm going to have this set up. I like a nice long decay. Makes a really cool effect with the gliding. Maybe a little faster. With a dim brightness like this and a long animation time, you'll really be able to see those dimming steps. So maybe a little brighter and a little quicker. Let's try that. That seems a little better. To the naked eye, it looks pretty good. On camera, it's going to be a little difficult with refresh rates and whatnot. But that's all the RGB settings in detail. You can paste in hex codes if you have specific colors you'd like. And these uh, results are previewed immediately. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to save your settings, and you're all set.